Pleasure to see you. Thank you, very much, yeah. Thank you for the tour. We brought we brought some nice weather. Oh, yes, it's been yeah. beautiful. Absolutely. First time? Not is this your first time uh, Sudan? I guess no. Not, yeah. 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 You know, I'm a customer. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, you know, my house is ten minutes from here. Is it? Oh, yeah, so this nice. is where we. This is where I spend my summers. This is where I usually swim. And uh, we're very very happy to have you here. Of uh, 25 or 27 aircraft in here. Okay, and the rest would be, and the rest would be yes. on the yeah. always, the rest would always be yeah. on the yeah. we, we go above, uh, you'll get a great sense actually how much we have. I've actually, I've actually been on one of them. Uh, I've been on the Paul Vincent. I actually oh, had the privilege of, uh, of landing on that. Oh, very good, very good. I never actually saw the, you know, the, you know, the this, uh, what's happening. Under, uh, un under the surface. This, uh, this really needs, enables us uh, to give uh, good staying power, so all the maintenance can be done here. We can do engine change-outs, uh, helicopter blade changes, uh, you name it. We can almost rebuild an entire aircraft again. So how many, how many, how many, how many planes? Uh, so we have uh, 75 airplanes on board. 75 aircraft? Uh, 75 aircraft. Aircraft. All of them, uh, and all the planes are F-18s now? All F-18s. That's right. Yeah. We have three different variants of yeah. F-18s yeah. uh, based on what mission they actually do. Uh -huh. And then we have two different types of helicopters on board. Yeah. These are the Romeos. These are the Romeos. And we're getting, we're, we're getting, we're getting, uh, yes. we're going to be getting um, uh, four of these, uh, hopefully. And they are. I'm, 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 I'm told that they are the, you know, the, the best in hunting submarines. They are phenomenal. Yeah. In fact, we're, uh, we're going to get a. Commander uh, Styles Hurt. Good to meet you, Commander. Executive Officer of the uh, Small Foxes, HSM 74. So these are the Romeos. Huh? So these are the Romeos. We're yeah. very happy that you guys are going to be joining us in yeah. Yeah. Be, yeah. No, hopefully in. Uh, yeah, it's a very capable aircraft and we're excited to have the Greeks on board. So how many, how, how big is the crew? Uh, so it, typically it's a three, yeah. two pilots and one sensor operator in the back. These are my seven sensor operators. Hello. I think it's runs the, the radar and yeah. the anti-submarine warfare equipment. Mm -hmm. And they also are rescue swimmers. So they can okay. do search and rescue and help out. They pretty much do everything. These guys are amazing. Mm -hmm. So I hope that we get to train some of your Greeks. And, uh, it's a big helicopter, yes. Yeah. It's a course, of course. Yes, sir. You got it. Yeah. And, and uh, this, this launch is Rel relatively new. So we started flying them back in 2012. Okay. So we, we've worked out all the kinks. They're very good. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's based off the SH-60 Bravo, yeah. uh, but it's just more capable airframe. Uh -huh. And a lot of the sensors are incredible. If you'd like to see the cockpit. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, Can I on. just, yeah. Just, there we go. It's all electronic. Oh, it's a glass cockpit. It's yeah. a glass cockpit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's uh, every, everything is displayed here. Our uh -huh. flight, our flight display, and our mission display. Mm -hmm. And basically, just like a computer, yeah. it has a mouse, and yeah. we can operate all the systems. Uh, okay. Yeah. And we so just go just, just crew three, yeah. So uh, yep, two pilots and one air crew. So now, if, you to, if you need to launch weapons, we can we can do it as a crew of three. The only reason we carry a fourth is for a rescue swimmer. Okay. So one of these guys would get in in the water in a wetsuit, and one of them would run the hoist. Right here. And this is uh, so it's a sonar launcher. Okay. So we spin sonar buoys out to try and track the submarines. Uh, and we also have a dipping sonar that can be installed. It's not in this aircraft. It goes under. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah. I'll be up on the, on the one on the roof when we go to the flight deck. I'll show you that one. So they're modular. So uh, as as uh, equipment changes, as as new advances come in the processing, very uh, simple, very inexpensive to, to keep them updated. Really, what were the changes with this version of the Romeo when it came out in 2012? So going from the Bravo to the Romeo is we added a dipping sonar, which is probably the biggest upgrade. Uh, also an upgraded radar that helped us uh, find the ships. Uh
from one, two, three, four. So this is the three in the board catapult right here. It actually holds it and stops that aircraft when it's coming in about 270 kilometers. Full power. Yeah, we always go to full power in case we miss the fire. So we'll be leaving tomorrow. We've been here uh, for three days. And so it's they, they, they have enough time to go out and, uh, and move oh, around yes, the city. Yeah. So Unfortunately, yeah, um, they won't get much entertainment these days because of COVID. But hopefully next time you're back, uh, we should be open. Uh, sure, it was beautiful being here. A lot of the local vendors came down yeah. and were able to set up shop. And I can show you that when we come over here. Yeah, we have all around the outer edge of local vendors. Selling leather goods, shirts, coffee, uh, local food. Thank you so much. Kalimera, let me just say what an honor it is for me and for our whole U.S. Navy team to have Prime Minister Mitsotakis and his national security team on board the USS Eisenhower here in Suda Bay today. Suda is the crown jewel of our defense cooperation and the support that Greece provides is indispensable to the American security presence in the Eastern Mediterranean. Uh, but more importantly, uh, this visit, the interoperation that's happened between our forces, our pilots flying together, our UH-60 Romeos landing on board a Hellenic Navy vessel, all of this reflects the convergence of interests between our countries, but also the values that bind us together. And especially in this week of Greek Independence Day and the celebration of the Greek Bicentennial, I know I speak for President Biden and the whole administration in underlining our enduring commitment to that alliance, but also President Biden's decision and his personal commitment to take that relationship to an even higher level. So thank you, Prime Minister, and we look forward to working with you and your team to build an even stronger base for the future. Thank you, Ambassador. Uh, allow me to say uh, a few words in Greek, uh, although as you've been in Greece for um, a long time, you probably understand. You probably understand half of what I say. Με πολύ μεγάλη χαρά βρίσκομαι σήμερα στη Σούδα, επισκεπτόμενος στο Αμερικανικό Αεροδρόμιο Eisenhower. Η στρατιωτική συνεργασία των Ηνωμένων Πολιτών Ελλάδων βρίσκεται σε εξαιρετικά υψηλά επίπεδα. Η βάση της Σούδας είναι η μόνη η οποία μπορεί να φιλοξενήσει αμερικανικά πλοία από το μεγέθος καθώς ε, η ε, χώρα μας ε, ενισχύει και επενδύει στην ε, αποτελεκτική δύναμη των ελληνικών δυνάμεων της, η στρατιωτική συνεργασία με τις Ηνωμένες Πολιτείες ε, αποκτά ε, όλο ένα και μεγαλύτερη σημασία. Ε, αυτή την εβδομάδα, καθώς ε, ε, εορτάζουμε τα 200 χρόνια από την έναρξη της ε, ελληνική 
της ε, Επανάστασης. Ε, σκεφτόμαστε τους ε, δεσμούς που μας ενώνουν με τις Ηνωμένες Πολιτείες. Ε, δεσμοί οι οποίοι δεν είναι μόνο πιωτικοί, πολιτικοί, οικονομικοί. Είναι κομπίστως δεσμοί αξιακοί. Ε, ενθυμόμαστε ότι ο Αλαμάντιος ε, Κοραής ε, αλληλογραφούσε πολύ συχνά με τον Τόμας Έτος. Και δεν ξεχνάμε βέβαια ότι στην 22η στροφή ε, του ε, ύμνου στην Ελευθερία υπάρχει αναφορά του Διονύση Σολομού στη γη του Βάσου. Οι δεσμοί λοιπόν που ενώνουν τις δύο χώρες ε, είναι περισσότερο ισχυρή ε, παρά ποτέ ε, και θέλω με την ευκαιρία αυτή να ευχαριστήσω και τον ε, Αμερικανικό Ευρωπαϊκό Βάιντεν για το πολύ ε, θερμό μήνυμα με το οποίο ε, ο ίδιο ε, χαιρέθησε ε, τα 200 χρόνια από την έναρξη της Ελληνικής Επανάστασης. Ambassador, thank you again once more for uh, this wonderful tour. Um, testimony to the um, uh, enduring strength uh, of our strategic uh, cooperation. And thank you again also for the very warm message uh, by President uh, Biden uh, celebrating uh, the 200 years since the beginning of the Greek War of Independence.